Hello guys, this is Anish Vidya with another tutorial and I thought I would do this because people are having problems doing camera movements and stuff so I've set up something here um, let me actually make a cube to have a reference uh, so I'll get to the tutorial first I'll show you what this does so say you want to circle around this cube in a perfect circle uh, we just use this thing over here, I'll sh just quickly demonstrate so I move the camera back say so I just wanted to circle around it so I add a keyframe on the correct one so rotation on the p-axis no. on the h-axis yeah so add a keyframe over here hold control and click on the the dot over here and then it adds a keyframe and then I go a few frames further and then I rotate it like 360 degrees I'll just type that in and add another keyframe and it should rotate around it now in a perfect circle actually that's too fast for you to see oops daisy so let me actually get in camera view so because there's no reference um, looks like the cube is moving but it's actually can the camera that's moving Okay, so to the tutorial, oh, and a few other things you can use is, let me just undo all of that. Um, okay, a few other things is you can rotate it like that. Be cool to add like a tunnel effect, they're going through a tunnel. You can go up, down, you can even move the null, uh, which is what you rotate around and this is just to move the camera and not the null so if you set them all at zero it'll be on the null basically and okay so let's get to the tutorial I will put the download for this um, yeah okay I will put the download and let's get a new one uh, it's pretty simple actually you just get a target camera delete the target and make a new null uh, name it whatever you like. I'm just gonna keep it now. Drag your camera inside. And by the way, the guy that uh, taught me this, I'll put his link the video off. I'll put his video in the link uh, in the description. So now go to your uh, camera and go to the coordinates. Put the coordinates at zero and the rotation at zero. Uh, and now go to your now and add a right click and cinema 4d tags and add an espresso drag your null twice inside and make it bigger this one will be using quite a bit and the camera also just drag it in there and make this one a bit big and now we need to add some user data so click on your null make sure you have that selected go to user data add user data and call this one move so we're going to okay rotate the camera around now so let's name it rotate now because we're rotating the now and now we want to name the axis so I want to rotate it on the edge axis which is like a circle like <laughs> yeah everything's a circle and make it a float and since it's rotation make it degrees and limit off those because you don't want that to be a limit and now make another one rotate now P and rotate now uh, what was the other one B B is it B yeah B um, now we go into Expresso click on the, this now add user data B H and and then go to this now and click on the blue one and you should have the coordinates uh, rotation H coordinates rotation B coordinates rotation and oh oh I got I put global oops yeah we don't want global rotation I don't know I think that rotates both at the same time I'm not sure uh, rotation B and rotation, rotation, rotation. B. And now we just drag the thing to the correct one. So edge goes to edge. 
B goes to B, and B goes to B, of course. And now when you go to your null, you should have it click on your user data, and then, oh, I forgot to, wait, let me go back to user data off the null. Forgot to off this, oh, make it a degrees, and off this. And do the same for this one, make degrees, off them. Okay, um, now, when we move this, it should rotate the camera and you can't really see it because we need to make the other user data from the camera so we need to go into coordinates uh, position x coordinates position y coordinates position z there are you can this with this you can have oh we need to add the user data again with this you can basically uh, animate anything like a perfect circle run like you're running through a tunnel or something and yeah so it's very useful and very handy so now we name this one um, move camera Z make it meters this time because I'm moving it and move oh my god actually I'm just gonna do one you need to do all of them move camera um, Y and Z uh, Y and X and I'm just going to do uh, just one for now just to show you and oops didn't delete that just delete this thing here so I'm just going to show you one okay okay so add that one I made and grab the uh, the correct one which is the Z and go to your null and it should move in the Z and then your null is still there and now when you rotate it it should rotate around the null so you can even position your null in your character and then when you move the character the camera will follow your character which is pretty cool and you can even just move the null like that but I won't suggest that you should use this oh I forgot to make that one so make another user data from to your null ah uh, my god add user data move now move the null not the camera and make it meters and off that I'm just gonna make one and I'll make it on the x-axis and just drag that in there I mean just get it, go get it and this time we're moving the null so we get the null over here oh wrong thing coordinates position x if you're getting confused please comment and tell me if you're getting confused and now go into your now and you should be able to move the camera along the x-axis like that so perfect so and one quick thing if you want your camera to move smoothly like without um, it moving let me show you real fast uh, move x and move it a bit like that hold control click here and see as you can see the camera slows down as it goes it doesn't stop you can't really see it but it doesn't stop like instantaneously it like slows down then stops and it's uh, it takes a while for it to speed up to fix that you just click and drag on your uh, two things two keyframes and make it linear and it should just go the same pace the entire time so as you can see it stops immediately so without slowing down so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe I am trying to get you to partnership which is pretty cool and I never knew I would get 125 subscribers me and my friends were like uh, who lets you get the most subscribers and I seem to have beaten them by a clear yeah uh, clear clearly I beaten them because my friend I'll put his their links in the description he does his minecraft videos his name is I Knight three four five six. He's Slovakian, so he has an accent, and uh, he's making uh, like a small adventure thing. Uh, I suggest checking that out. It's pretty funny, in my opinion. Um, he got eight subscribers. Most of them are his friends and family, uh, and he subscribed to his own channel like one time. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and bye. Oh, I'm using a new screen recording, so I don't know what to do.